Uh, you like jokes? Everybody, them, yes. jokes are funny. You all agree? That's two thumbs up. So, you know Vito Giswaldi? Has he come on this show? No. It sounds... Um, he's, a, he's a 4Xer, I think. He's a 3XL or Most a 4XL. Most Vitos are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a friend of mine. We do the Biggest Problem podcast together. We rebooted it. Um, we're doing that every Friday. But he rings me up one night and says, uh, Hey, tomorrow there's a Dave Chappelle protest at Netflix. All the Alphabet people are coming out and they're going to uh, demonstrate how they don't get jokes. Mm -hmm. Alphabet people are LGBT, ITA plus, whatever. What do you guys see? It's too many. I see Alphabet is the Google about... thing, and I, I couldn't make it. <laughs> I thought of FBI. We're not talking about stocks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, he says all the Alphabet people, or the trans people, are doing a little protest to demonstrate how they don't like jokes. And do you want to go hold signs at it? Because that's his deal, going to protests and being a jackass <laughs> like he did a thing where he brought a pepsi to a riot and was trying to do the that <laughs> Kardashian commercial you guys should have him on he's really he's really funny, he sounds uh, funny. Yeah, we should get so him he's on. going to the cops and they're like what the fuck are you doing like antifa's behind him throwing bottles we went to the la riot together and uh did some live streaming there did a little trolling uh so i said yeah sure let's do it uh i didn't think i didn't think anyone was gonna anyone was gonna show up because stupid me, I thought, don't these trans people have better things to do with their time than <laughs> go sc scream about how Dave Chappelle is ruining their lives? Like, Apparently not. <laughs> seems like a big waste of time. Uh, whatever. It so does. we go we go to Home Depot. You know, I insisted on having good quality signs because I'm turning this into a married with children protest. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You guys remember No Ma'am's protest where yeah, Bob yeah, Rooney and... <laughs> the guys would get in a circle and have like the dumbest slogans possible <laughs> while marching in a little circle. It's like, all right, I know exactly what, what this protest is. Um, we go to Home Depot and I get some big fucking poles on these signs. Big, <laughs> big white, you know, I'm putting, putting my, uh, my entire half ass into these signs. Um, and we think, okay, it's got to be just so stupid, nobody could possibly get upset by it. Like, it's not... <laughs> It's not we support black comedy, because we don't. I mean, I. it's like, it's comedy's comedy. You support I don't, good comedy. Yeah. yeah, I support good comedy. I'm not racist about my support of comedy. Uh, it's just, we like jokes. Uh, Dave is funny. And then Vito goes, well, what about my sign? I'm like, well, we like Dave. Jokes are funny. Because, <laughs> he goes, jokes jokes are funny. I'm like, yes, it's fucking perfect. Look at our, like, look, now we're matching. See how stupid that is? And people are going to see us going around looking dumb. <laughs> like, jokes are funny. And it's going to be like a little bit of levity. I thought maybe even the trans people could embrace it a little bit. Like, oh, you know what? We do like jokes. They do not like jokes. <laughs> As it turns out. Um, and I mean, obviously, I don't think that those lunatics represent the trans community. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of maniacs that you know want to want to bully people, right? Like that's the trans community doesn't give a fuck. The trans community's out there working and doing whatever. This is just a fringe group of lunatics that yeah. uh, had a bad day so for their entire life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we get there, and it's like. It's popping right away. There's uh, there's uh, probably 50 protesters, maybe 150 news media reporters and organizations there to cover it. Outnumbering oh. them three to one. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it is big. Uh, I, that was a funny thing about it. There's just so many news people there like... It's 10 cameras on every single person like oh is someone gonna fuck up is someone gonna fuck up is someone gonna fuck up and then we come in with our <laughs> fucking signs <laughs> dur, 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 dur. And you got all the turf people there, like women who have women who look like they've been left in the sun for about 30 years, and they've got the entire Bible written on their sign that they're holding, uh, <laughs> screaming about screaming about how about whatever. I don't know what their talking points were. But then on the other side, you've got uh, a woman dressed like the Pope and like a guy fatter than Nick Avocado with this little like. <laughs> pink dollop of hair on top of his head <laughs> he looks like a, he looks like the punch out sequel like he looks like a bad guy from like a, a van damme movie screaming about <laughs> rights and i'm like oh my god you guys like we're just here uh joking like <laughs> what, what, i mean you guys are too but i don't think you know it 
<laughs> um, so we're arguing with people and having a good time. Um, and we're recording it too because Vito is going to make a, a video about it for his YouTube channel. And um, eventually, Vito sent they pull all the they pull all the lunatics into the Netflix HQ. All this is at Netflix Netflix HQ. Mm -hmm. Which is the most upsetting to me because Netflix said, yeah, 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 we absolutely want this. We want this walkout. It's a, it's a walkout for Netflix employees to come out and protest their biggest product of the day and then to uh, attract as many malcontents and psychopaths in the area to come congregate yeah. on their property and cause mayhem and to... to to uh to oversee this uh this this boiling uh the, you know this uh, potential chaotic moment they have uh, their two smallest <laughs> security guards who <laughs> borrowed their uncle's suit to show up, like Juan and Paco uh, there Juan and Dose in like suits that that are going down by their arms going like uh excuse me sir can you not stand on the on the plane okay okay and they just go back <laughs> off like this is fucking chaos. So Vito takes his sign. Did you guys see what Vito, what happened to Vito's sign? I, I did see them tear it off. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. No, you gotta watch that. You oh, gotta watch I that. See, I did see. That, okay. Yeah. So they they tore off his sign and then they claimed it was a weapon, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Vito yeah. has his sign and then this dude, uh, this guy Joe Cristalli, who is a, a showrunner for the new Frasier reboot, like the one show that we needed to really? reboot. Uh, <laughs> Frazier, <laughs> he comes over and grabs Vito's sign and tears it away from him, or, or, or grabs it, pulls it down, smashes his sign, leaving Vito with only the stick. Like, Vito's not a big guy. I mean, he's mm -hmm. fat, but he's not, like, muscular. <laughs> so he's there holding a stick going, oh, you smashed my sign. And the guy goes, he's got a weapon! And then <laughs> walks away. It's like, bro! Was that? It's like a. You can't scream. He's got a weapon at a <laughs> trans protest with a bunch of fucking guys, Antifa guys that are like mad dogging you <laughs> and swinging their bike locks like they're in the Warriors, like ready to rumble at any moment. Like you can't say he's got a weapon. And Looking there's all the most. cops that are on. Yeah, they're like, all the cops are on bikes in the middle of the street. Like you're. I know that you. I know that you know what you're doing. But whatever. Um. So Vito's standing there. You got if you haven't watched the video, you gotta watch it. There's this woman with a tambourine, like screaming, Repent, motherfucker! Repent, motherfucker! <laughs> right in his face, and he's just and he can't move because they the protesters they get around you, like they stand there and they put their arms around you like they're hugging a tree and they're like, I'm not touching you, but if you if you touch me, then we're gonna have a serious problem. So like, <laughs> well, I can't fucking move. Like I don't know why you think what you're doing is is legal but it's not like it's it's not like it's like Very the mild Simpson, you know kidnapping. <laughs> yeah like i can't move like okay well i don't know how to get out of this um so i'm like i'm we're goofing we're goofing down then he's trying to like juke out of, juke out of them and like spin to get around um <laughs> you just in, in that situation you just have to attack that person with everything you have you just <laughs> punch them, right? Just, just, just to and, be, and have your life ruined. I mean, you're already in a pretty, pretty good, pretty good position to like grab them in a body, like just slam them on their fucking head on the ground, right? Like, yeah. Like, like well, he, if you just, fall over, I think they're falling too. Hurt me. Oh, if Dick does that to someone, two seconds until there's articles. Local white supremacist. Oh, yeah, attacks, house is gone. Uh, Everything is gone. Justice protester at Netflix. So, so, so were you attacked by the? By oh the yeah. So I thought it would be really funny. When they're they're like smashing Vito's sign and going like ah we fucking we fucking kill jokes we fucking kill jokes at this fucking idiot, I thought it'd be so funny to just take my sign and like go behind him, you know. So if anybody's <laughs> recording it, they would see this this awful display and then see like um like the Muppets, like a guy yeah. going like boop 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 <laughs> behind with the exact same sign. <laughs> so I get behind there. I have the video. Uh, we played it on my show. But I, I don't know. There's a there's a picture too. The New York Times has a good picture of me getting shoved, of my head getting shoved into this this concrete thing. Um, this guy, the same guy, Joe Crisali, comes over and tries to do the tries to grab my sign out of the way because I'm I'm holding it up, and like they're they're trying to they're trying to disguise my sign with their signs, but 
I got that big old Home Depot <laughs> stick. So I'm going way like, oh, no, 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 no. I got a fucking nine foot stick, you idiots. You, you cannot cover, you cannot cover my uh, jokes are funny sign. <laughs> so Joe comes over and like, I'm like this with my sign just standing there. And he kind of comes, he kind of comes in and starts twerking on me. Right? Like he slides in and thinks he's being sneaky and grabs my side. And gives it a yank. And I'm like, no, 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 buddy. This is not like you little noodly arm fuck. You're not <laughs> you're not smashing my sign. I worked I worked hard on this sign for like ten minutes. I'm not gonna you know, go go away. I'm not I'm not you already smashed that guy's sign. You're not smashing my sign. So I hold it. So then he grabs it with both hands. He's like, ah, ah, I trying to take it. <laughs> And I'm, what do you probably know the feeling of a like a kid trying to rip something out of your hands? Sure. <laughs> like it, it's just fu like you can't stop laughing. It's like what are you doing? Like, this is this is my thing. Why are you ripping the? Why are you trying to rip my thing out? So I I grab my sign and I go, oh this this guy's trying to take my sign. This guy's trying to like I started screaming. Because uh -huh. it's funny because it's so stupid. I'm like bro, you're bro, you're embarrassing yourself. Uh, this guy's trying to take my sign. So then I see this fucking little Smurf, this Antifa Smurf guy, who looks all, he's all yoked, yoked up. He's a little guy, but he's all yoked, just fucking staring at me, right? Like, staring with his blue baklava. And then I, and I realized, like, oh, fuck. All right, here we go. So I started screaming, this guy's attacking me, this guy's attacking me, this guy's attacking me. And the next thing I know, uh, Joe, Joe pulls me away. So I'm kind of like, I'm still holding my sign. The whole time in the video, my, my, I have both hands on my sign. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I mean... I'm there with a we like fucking joke sign. I'm not there to, I'm not there to play homoerotic punch up with a bunch of guys who don't have dads, right? So I'm holding, holding this sign, and this fucking guy comes over and uh, sh takes a running start and shoves me. It's very violent too, if you watch it. Um, shoves me against a planner, and then uh, I don't, I kind of don't remember the rest, but you can see it on video. Then shoves my head into a, a one of those stupid concrete balls that they have in front of Target. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like enameled concrete. So I remember mm -hmm. the, I remember the hit. Like I saw him shoving me, and I thought, well, you know, all right, this is, mm, uh, yeah, all right, just try to try to stay up. And I remember getting hit in a really fucked, like surprising place. So I thought maybe somebody cranked me with a bike lock or something, because like you're not you're not used to mm -hmm. getting hit so hard while you're standing yeah. up. Right, like if you're maybe you're falling down, you're kind of braced for it. But this was just like crack, like oh most, god, fuck. Most things that hit in general have some give to them. This has no give. It's a special None. kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was, I'm all. You can see it on the video too. I'm all disoriented and like standing up, um, and trying to figure out who's uh, got the bike lock. Because I'm like, all right, well, whoever the bike lock might have a, a knife or something. So I got to find. Like I'm in danger of being murdered now because these people are just. They're yeah. fucking crazy, the people Insane. that show up there. Um, and I'm looking, I'm looking around, I'm saying that he hit me in case, so someone can record him and get him. And I shit you not, out of nowhere, this little broad appears and says, I know this guy, he's got a rape list. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. people you want to said, <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. That was Maddox. Dick. That was the thing in his video that he did like seven years ago yeah. to, to get me kicked out of comedy. He said that I ran a rape list because some guys on 4chan made a. <laughs> They put like Hillary Clinton on a list of women they wanted to rape. And he goes, "That's that's his rape list." And out of, I'm like, "You gotta be fucking kidding me! The fucking rape list is coming. I'm gonna get killed because of Maddox is fucking rape list right oh, now." Yeah, he got recognized. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's the yeah. rape list guy. Leave him alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was one worse. Of us. <laughs> it was worse that he's got a weapon. Like he's got a rape list. I'm like, oh no. Now, <laughs> but like, if I'm in that crowd though, and I hear that guy's got a rape list, I'm like. The fuck is a rape list? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Is that like a list of conquests? Is it? Is no, it? No is one it knows. Plans? Is that bad? <laughs> does it mean he's what he wants to kill rapists? I think. <laughs> I, what yeah, mean? I think everyone was so confused that they didn't kick my ass. Um, I don't know. I'm just telling this story straight. Let me know if if you want me to pause for a moment and jump in. No, that's um, good. That's good. No. That's really funny. So, great. so now you have some sort of uh, lawsuit, maybe. Oh, I hope happen? so. Uh, yeah, I, you know, 
Do you know? I found. It? What's that, Woody? Were you able to track down the person's identity? Yes, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, that's what I. That's what took me so long to file the police report because I didn't want to go to the police and say, "Yeah, a little angry blue guy uh, attacked yeah. me, and I don't know anything." So this dude, this dude hit me up after the fact um, with all kinds of footage from the day saying of the guy who hit me confessing to like this trans uh, woman live streamer, what he did. And like, then he's talking to, he's him and this- What a dumbass. Yeah, this dude, uh, this dude I'm not gonna say, cause I don't want your channel yeah, to get yeah. fucked with. Um, but it's on my channel. Uh, he's talking to this live streamer, Precious Child is her name. She's, I mean, that's not, that's not unknown. Yeah. That's, uh, he's talking to her about him doing it. And then she's like, well, do you want to trade clothes so that you can go back so to avoid detection? He goes, oh yeah, I don't want them getting my identity. So sure as shit, the cops get there. The dude comes back in the black mask instead of his blue outfit. Um, and then the guy... The guy, the same guy who sent me the thing, found him on interviews and other places, and like triangulated. You know, this is the guy. He he isolated his laugh during the interviews and like played it back and like this. <laughs> uh, hmm. He got different angles of the shape of his skull and his face. <laughs> the guy's like the guy's like a CrossFit gym owner and a, a Olympic weightlifter and like a, a college football player. I was like, oh, amazing. Okay, so they found the one Antifa who works out to sick on me. Uh, and then it turns out the fucking guy who found it all was a rooftop Korean. So in the 90s, you remember those guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mustache. That was his dad, was the rooftop Korean in the, in the 90s. He was 18. He was going around to all the, the ghetto neighborhoods fucking flashing his piece so the gangs there knew not to fuck with the rooftop Koreans. <laughs> like that was a, they had a whole squad of guys. The guys who were not on the roof were driving around fucking enforcing or whatever trying to intimidate the gangs from fucking with their stores um cool dude jeez yeah that anyway wild. Um, that is an insane so tale you and you like just a... wanted to carry a sign that said dave is funny <laughs> jokes are funny yeah we like <laughs> jokes and, and i like jokes might have, you might have a lifetime of a lifetime of like not i mean forget the the, the physical trauma but but the mental trauma that you've been through i'm sure you've had nightmares i'm sure that like maybe you don't feel safe in your own home at times and you're in public like it's got to be hard i bet it's even uh, i don't want to judge but i think your back and neck hurt um yeah no i know no joke i got a my... stress headache just by hearing your your story <laughs> i'm wondering if maybe there's a class action suit yeah i'm upset by hearing that from kyle so i'd like to sign <laughs> <laughs> yeah the class action of everyone who likes jokes can sign, yeah. sign up to my class action lawsuit <laughs> Uh, it, my brain didn't work for, I mean, it's, it's like one of those things where I know it was, I know it was fucked the next day. I forgot conversations, full on conversations that I had that night. I don't really remember the impact. Uh, I was doing sh like, I was leaving half coffee around the house getting made and it got better. But then I start wondering, well, did I, am I getting used to the forgetfulness like i don't really know mm. you know like the the fear of it is am i getting asymptotically better and it never gets better because mm -hmm. that's really that is is really bothering me and pissing me off uh the whole the whole in, the nature of head injuries are um well you know i can't i, I don't have any words anymore to describe these things because i'm retarded because of now. the head injury perhaps <laughs> because of the head yeah. injury uh but it's you were much scary. funnier before this Thank you. Thank you for you saying too. that. You, you were smarter also. <laughs> yeah. You used to be able to yeah. carry a show. I was happy when I heard you came <laughs> on. I'm, now that I see what we've gotten. I'm a little but, worried. Now he's all busted up. <laughs> I'm all messed up now. I'm wondering I if need... we at PKA could seek some sort of financial restitution because we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know Not this man was damaged goods after that neo-Nazi attacked him. We didn't know. The neo-Nazi. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to sell as much of your goo juice because I can't oh. keep a conversation going. I know. Everyone suffers. Um, <laughs> Dude, that but is afterwards, such a fucking insane situation. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, terrible. When, oh, yeah. Uh, when Vito and I left, we, we hadn't checked our phones all day. Because if you take your phone out at one of these things, some fucking idiot's gonna slap it out of your hand. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. well, there's 1200 bucks. Thanks, bud. Um, 
the, when we got our phones back on in the car, which they chased us down to a car. Fucking Antifa chased us down to a car. And, Jeez. Yeah, they cannot recorded. take a joke. Dude, that's one thing I learned about trans women from this experience is they really don't like jokes. Um, <laughs> when we checked our phones, people were, it was blowing up. Like the clips of him getting his sign smashed already had like a million views on it. Um, it was crazy. It was really crazy. Where's it going we, from here? I don't know. I don't know. Probably uh, Dave Chappelle will apologize. Then. <laughs> Dave Chappelle will take a picture of us and say, these two fucking guys are the reason I'm not doing comedy anymore. Oh. <laughs> we had a bunch of interviews the day of, too. Uh, there was one funny one. This little this uh, little dude for, I think, USA Today, this reporter, this little d uh, gay guy. I mean, I just assume he was gay, but I would mm. bet on it. Um, <laughs> he grabbed me and he goes, "Hey, can I get an interview with you? Kind of over here. I don't and like suck the sun." Your cock. <laughs> I was <laughs> hoping he would, assumed. you know, ask for my number, but he didn't. Um, he so he brought me in this little under under this little uh, awning thing, kind of around the around a little uh, around the pylon of the building. I don't know, somewhere more secluded. And he goes, "Okay, uh, just wanted to ask you why you're, you know, kind of why you're here today." And this white woman, as they all are, comes fucking stomping over with her dreads and she goes ah can i can i ask what you're doing with him and he goes you know that look that gay guys have like oh, okay um, well, um, um just um i'm gonna ask him some some questions and she goes are you press and he goes yeah i mean yeah I'm press just doing my job here and she goes well if you need to know what happened you can ask me and he uh I, I mean it's just kind of disgusting that uh that you're even giving someone like him a platform to say anything and he goes well uh you know i'll uh just doing my my job here uh and she walked away and i said you were uh, you were asking why i'm here today i think you know i think you know goes, yeah <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I <laughs> started you, asking the did questions. Did you let him know yeah. that, that that they're about to kick him out of the LGBTQ? You know, he, yeah. He, as, as a yeah. white gay man, he's the first on the chopping block. Like, like, like. That's true. Cut, even though, even though he's the all you white Asian. gays out there, you're getting cut out soon. Yeah. Is he white or Asian? Did I miss up the story. He's so white, he was a white guy. He was white. Yeah, he was oh, white. Okay, my bad. My bad. I said, buddy, I have a gay straight alliance that I want to introduce you to. This LGBT stuff is gone. It's all about the GSA. Ta Taylor, Gay straight you, alliance. Could you yeah. do an accent that is a racist Chinese man who is very gay? So, so, but but he does the thing with his R's. Dude, this um, is too scary. <laughs> this, is, this is too scary because I know he's gonna say Brack. And <laughs> no, you're setting me up for a trap here. I'm not. I'm not doing that, I'm, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> That's the one he won't tip. All right, fine. <laughs> I, I don't. It. I don't care for all of these. No, no see, uh, that's, <laughs> you got to slow it down. I don't care for all of these bracks pretending to be gay. <laughs> when I am the real gay person here, these brack gays keep. <laughs> see, that's that's all. That's all that it gets to. Do. <laughs> no, but that's good. It's hard. To uh, oh yeah, they, they were, then they were pretending that I was strangling somebody. That was the thing that what? got out after. Yeah, that was, apparently that was. Well, they always like lie to say you're doing something, so some muscle dummy will come in and and beat you up. <laughs> so they're like this muscle guy's strangling dummy? somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm just like holding on to my fucking sign, man. I'm holding on to my. <laughs> I want the sign. I don't want you assholes to smash it. That's it. Did did you feel like the media uh, gave you a fair shake? No, they're fucked. <laughs> the Associated Press said that Vito. They took a picture of Vito and they they blew it. You know, Associated Press. They sent it to like thirty thousand news outlets and said uh, local comedian Vito Giswaldi screaming profanities at the in support of Dave Chappelle. And we, so we got over like, what the fuck is this? We didn't swear. Like we're we're pretending like we're in church because we know mm -hmm. exactly what's going to happen to us. Uh, they released a retraction later, the AP did, saying uh, he wasn't s screaming profanities at this moment. <laughs> it's like, because Jesse Signal or somebody on Twitter found a video and like pieced together exactly when that was and proved that he wasn't swearing. So then the AP said, well, he wasn't swearing right at that moment. I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. Did you, guys. did you have any video of him swearing or photographs maybe even? 
No. No. <laughs> but we're sure no, he that, swears. That's, what did that's he the say? narrative the media wanted to run with, so they ran with it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. There's no accountability if they get it wrong, so who cares for them? Yeah, it's crazy. It's really it's really unfortunate. Uh he's on video. What he said was I don't get the violence. I like Dave. I like jokes. Jokes are funny. And then some version of like, why can't we all just get along? Something stupid like that. Something yeah. offensive, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Brought to you by Carl Jr. I think. Why can't we all get along? In. Ugh. He dropped that. You disgusting <laughs> white man. <laughs> you fat idiot. Why can't we get along? Because you're racist. <laughs> yeah. So it was all. So it was white men. Two white men beat up. Me, a Mexican, and Vito, a bisexual. Oh, well, he's a woman on his driver's license, but <laughs> is he? That is so yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, he got he put woman on his driver's license just because. I'm well. I guess he's just because you can. Yeah, <laughs> just because you can. He did it because you and, can. And no one can say you can't. Oh my yeah. god! I just got my motorcycle license. I could have done that. Yeah, you could have been the ugliest woman in America. Well, oh, not Vito. No, no, that's not true. V Vito not would have been close. uglier. But not, at this rally. <laughs> not at this rally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was a hilarious set of videos to watch, and like the way you described it seemed pretty accurate with the videos of like you guys clearly like are walking in with like looks of glee and mirth, like we're <laughs> yeah. gonna fuck up their little stupid nonsense, and then they take it beyond serious. <laughs> they're so crazy. Like they're really they're really such crazy people that should be ignored and mocked by everyone it's um, funny they feel so comfortable getting violent at a protest knowing that nothing is likely going to happen to them i know because, that fucker's probably yeah. still going to write for fraser or do whatever but oh we yeah do one one wrong thing and we lose our goo goo juice sponsorship no, nobody's taking the goo <laughs> no one's taking our fucking goo juice <laughs> from us they better not yeah you can't cancel goo no nah. No, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's, you just, you just can't, you just can't. I mean, I, I hope more people make jokey signs and go to protests like that. I mean, that would make these videos much funnier if more people were willing to put their lives on the line for a joke. Yeah, a lot of comedians hit us up afterwards and say, hey, you guys should hit us up the next time you're going to one of these. I'm like, all right, cool. We do this. This is Hollywood. There should have been way more comedians out there in support of jokes um but then other comedians say like i don't know why you didn't just haul back and pop one of them I'm like no you should stay home don't <laughs> it's not you go I don't, we're not trying to do a proud boys thing over here just uh just like a jokes thing yeah and apparently you can't even do a jokes thing without being assaulted no sucks so what do you have to do if you want to go troll these protests I guess exactly that, but you got to be willing to get hit and fucked with and have your be deplatformed, have your life ruined. Yeah, you got to wear a helmet. I think that's what I learned. I'm gonna oh, wear a, a helmet little... would have been clutch. Yeah. You know what? I, I've learned from watching street fighting videos of like, or mostly like Russian uh, on the road fighting videos, is when like a biker with his helmet on shows up to fight a normal motorist. It's all but finished already. Like they can, <laughs> they can do the fucking headbutt. You can see them like crack a baseball bat, like glancing off, and they're still okay because it's meant for fucking high speed collisions. It is like true. I saw one video of from Russia where this fucking retard he had the helmet benefit. He had that going in, and he took it off to use as a cudgel. And immediately got knocked out. And he he never would have been knocked out had he left that on. He would have been untouchable. You're just going to yeah. take body <laughs> shots Good in the job. middle of fucking Putin Avenue until it ends? Like, no, you're going to beat that guy to shit. A little headbutt action. Yeah, I think uh, I think the motorcycle helmet is a essential piece of fight gear. Um, I, 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 have, I, like you, have seen many fights go the way of the biker. Mm -hmm. I, I love that one when the guy just, like, parks his bike, gets off, knocks the guy the fuck out. And then gets back on and leaves. It's just, just so quick. But I've never seen anybody get hit wearing a motorcycle helmet in care. I found a motorcycle helmet in the road a couple of days ago. I was like, this could come in handy. I took it. It was on the side of the road. <laughs> you just took it? Well, Might need this. Yeah, I took it. Aren't they like a one hit and done motorcycle Yeah, but I'm, I mean, I have a very nice helmet. I'm very careful with it. But if you were going to hop on the back of my bike, I'd be like, yeah, I got oh, a helmet. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's it's, an red, idiot. it's red. It's sparkly. <laughs> it's a name brand. Yeah, that shield's a little wonky. I mean, it came off somebody's head going 70 probably. It's, you I didn't spring for like for a matching helmet for whatever babe you've got on the back? I don't want so anybody you look on cool? my motorcycle ever. I don't, I don't, I don't like Have you not taken anyone? I don't like the idea of it even. Okay. I, I don't plan uh -huh. to. No, 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 
no, no, no. She's got her own motorcycle if she's going to ride. Like, like I know. I don't, I don't blame you. Yeah, I, I know a few girls who have bikes and they can ride their own fucking bike. I don't want you on the back of mine fucking shit up, freaking out, leaning the wrong goddamn way, sending me into a tree. <laughs> Yeah. My wife does that. We yeah. couldn't find the restaurant. And she's like looking on this side of me, that side of me, everywhere. And yeah. I was like, baby, stay still. <laughs> that is a scary situation to be in. <laughs> we'll find it. Stop. <laughs> yeah. And you're weaving in the lane I, as I, best you can. I'm new at this shit. I don't need it on hard mode. I don't need a counterbalance behind me playing playing games with the playing games with fucking gravity and inertia. Like, like, get the fuck off. I'm riding my own motorcycle. Okay. Dave Chappelle. Yes. Yeah, just, uh, we all watched it. Yeah, we did. I The whole world said it wasn't that funny. And I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was funny. It has I really was good touched audience by scores. the story at the end. Oh, did it? Yeah. I feel or like the, it, the tomato meter. Um, like, like the critics hated it, but like the audience score is 95. Like people like okay. it. Yeah, I watched it in, uh, in Colorado the other day. Uh, we watched it as a group. Again, mm -hmm. really bugging high. And um, I liked it a lot. I did not like that whole story at the end. I liked it. Carry on. Well, you know what? I just realized the reason I didn't like it is because like I was getting invested in it because this is a really sweet story. And then Fish gets on his phone next to me, finds out what the end of the story is, and then yells it into my ear. <laughs> Why would he do that? What an asshole. <laughs> wow. And like, I'm trying not to spoil it intentionally for people who I hope will mm. watch uh, Dave Chappelle's special. If you haven't yet, it's on Netflix, obviously. But it was one of these things where like, imagine that like we were watching Star Wars and, and, and he just goes, that's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was, Damn like, it, he kind of did that like, three minutes before uh the actual scene um so uh, that maybe that killed it for me but <laughs> that is a good analogy I, I like the the uh the special in general i thought it was funny i thought that he uh he, he's very good at defending himself and making his points well the whole mm -hmm. thing about um oh i i forgot because i'm high but it was it was something about how like it was less of a news story uh, how you could kill a black man and still have a career but you can't make fun of a gay person and still have one. That was that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. He had yeah. a lot of good jokes in there. I enjoyed it. the The story was good. It just like as far as the pacing, like like the first like half of it when it was more like traditional like jokes and everything. Like at least half a dozen times, I laughed out loud. Like the the misdirection. I won't say it or anything, but the the space Jews bit in the beginning that misdirection that was hilarious like it was really really funny it and the story at the end was good too it's just it almost felt like disjointed because it was like high tempo like joke 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 and then it like became just a like story telling it which was a good story it was interesting it kept my attention and i the whole time like i was watching it like he would say a controversial joke and i'm like yeah that's that's a uh, controversial in 2021 saying that but i kept waiting for like Where's the big boom going to be? Where's the big boom that everybody's so furious about? And I got to the end of it, and it's like, oh, people are just being fucking ridiculous about this. Like, being, like, hyper offended at him. Like, I, I expected something, like, huge that, like, he would say would be totally, you know, in these people's minds out of line. But, like, no, it, it seemed like a good stand-up special. He said he's taking a huge break after this. Uh, and I something I've always liked about him is, like, he just he does whatever he wants. He'll he'll leave he'll leave money on the table. Joe like Rogan he, does that too. Yeah, and so that that endears him to me. So overall, it was a good special. I liked this special more than the previous two ones on Netflix. I did those didn't uh, make me laugh as much as this one. So I would I would agree well, with the audience score. That, did he, was he talking about a woman when he was he was talking about someone having a Joe Rogan neck? Yeah, <laughs> which is very funny. <laughs> yeah, I want to say I don't. I'm I think not he was talking about jokes, like a trans but... woman having a Joe Rogan neck, <laughs> <laughs> and that's such like a 2021 reference. Joe Rogan's neck, like <laughs> or I guess it could be the last you know, five years. No, I, yeah, I dug it. I, it was I, I liked it. I agree with you. I think it was the better of the the last three specials. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, there were several points where he was like, "Might be a while before y'all see me again." <laughs> yeah. Rogan and I was talked. Like, about Chappelle and said that he was kind of laying low, waiting for the heat to pass, and it's mm -hmm. like, which implied to me that it bothered him. It was funny. He said in the show a couple times, like, you know, I hear this stuff and it gets to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's interesting because you think that 
when the paycheck's big enough that they become invulnerable to negative feedback. Mm-hmm. But that's not how it works. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he needs more is. money. You know, I, I think that he just wants people to like what he does. I bet Adam Sandler feels that way. I, I bet that's why every like two or three years he makes another like good fucking movie. Like, come on, guys, look at look. I did I did another one. I did another one. <laughs> did, 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 did you see? Um, what was that gems movie he made? Forgotten gems or uh, uncut, uncut gems. gems? Did you see yeah. uncut gems? I did. Was it good? Yeah. So good. It's so really? good because Adam Sandler's a good fucking actor. It, yeah. it, it, did you see Dave Chappelle get uh, tackled on stage? I, I saw did. his assaulter yeah. get what's coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dave Chappelle's security <laughs> oh team isn't very good at their job, but they are really good at beating people. <laughs> they They're good at vengeance. They excel yeah. at that. <laughs> they finish their checks. That guy had a compound fracture. Checks, exactly. His arm was like... <laughs> really? They busted his arm? Like, damaged him? I the saw the picture... Fracture. My my girlfriend, compound. who is a uh, a vet, I would believe her, said that it was compound. I just saw a picture of a guy's arm, and then it went like that way. Yeah. What kind of vet down. is she? Does she help animals or kill people? <laughs> <laughs> she helps animals. You okay, the, the former before the latter. That was his gun knife, huh? What? Wait, what am I looking at? What is that? That seems like the worst of two worlds. He, is that one of the after <laughs> Dave Chappelle with a knife? Is that what you're saying? First of all, that, hold the gun? Oh, time out, the time out. Just so everyone, I think that thing is super tiny. Just so we're clear, that's not like a full size. That's not a weapon. That's a keychain. Like <laughs> they, they zoomed all the way in, and he he glued a knife to it. No, no I think like it's one of those flipped. novelty ones. Yeah, from like it's a little like like you know um, those. Uh, or was like he, hang on, hang like on though. Was he joke. wielding that at the time, or was it in his pocket? That, that's what mm. I mean. I think big difference. You know what? I don't yeah, know if he was going to murder Dave Chappelle on the stand, I think that's it would stupid. be much different. Yeah, that's one of those. Put a, put a banana next to it. Put yeah. someone's finger in there. I can't see what's going on. Put his broken arm next to it. See what happens. So yeah, <laughs> that was fucking wild. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, it was about the trans stuff, and um, and they beat the shit. Out. Jamie Fox jumped on stage too. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Fox was there. He was in the front row. Did he get some shots in on Chappelle? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, get like, him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have trans friends. Are you sure it was about the trans stuff? Because no, okay. the person posted that it was about the trans stuff because pro- they found their social media afterward, and it was stuff like, "You're coming after trans people. I'm gonna kill you." Like, oh, well, did like you hear that Chappelle that talked picture. to him and had a different uh, takeaway? No, I just saw a screenshot of what the the person who did the assaulting uh, so said. I'm I'm not saying it's not about the trans stuff. Maybe it was. Dave Chappelle said that he talked to him afterwards, and he wanted to know why he attacked him. Like he it was sort of like he was open minded. Like what was that all about? And the guy said that he was trying to draw attention to a sick family member. So I stopped investigating after that and thought that was the end of the story. Bullshit. And, I believe you, but I, I, I'm just now hearing for the first time that if you look into his social media, it was probably about the trans stuff. After that I be, got caught, my incentive changed. Well, I don't think he thought he was going to get away with it. I don't think he thought very much at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 he might be trying to uh, avoid Dave pressing charges by, by coming up with that. I hope Dave sends him to prison. I feel like a, an example needs to be set. You can't just fucking assault someone on stage. Fuck you. Go to jail. What did Kevin not- Hart say? Did I, did I misunderstand and say that and read that Kevin Hart was pro attacker? That seems no, unlikely. No, I can't imagine that. I, I, I like kept, Kevin Hart and I don't like that take. So I, I, I kept rereading it and it was like, he said something like, you can't just say anything. And I was like, I, I'm shocked a comedian would take that stance. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe he was saying, Nowadays, you can't say anything without X, Y, and Z. Because yeah. Kevin lost the Oscars because of yeah. something he said. Can I, can I read this? Sure. Yeah. So, um, I need to talk to him, Chappelle said. He asked Lee what could have possibly prompted his attack, to which Lee, who Chappelle said appeared to him to be mentally ill, offered a story about his grandmother from Brooklyn, who had been forced out of her neighborhood by gentrification. The attack was meant to draw attention to her plight. So that's what I thought it was about until I learned okay. here that maybe it was trans stuff. I okay, well, yeah. it sounds like a crazy person. So I think that uh, anyone's <laughs> guess goes at this point. 
Okay. Uh, of course, it, I guess um, we should have known that when he attacked Dave Chappelle on stage. <laughs> that should have been. I the wish, first I wish time Dave Chappelle moment. would have been the one to deliver the blows. Now, Chris Rock coming what, up afterwards. What if, what was if Dave very had funny. had a gun? What if David had a gun? <laughs> and he and shot then, the then guy. This would have been handled. <laughs> like, like you had like a sawed off twelve mm. gauge, like Terminator style, under the jacket. Oh sawed off twelve gauge. I'm on his side. I don't care what he does with it. That's such, that's such a cool gun. It's like the uh, it's like the Teddy Roosevelt thing. It's like the Teddy Roosevelt thing. Teddy Roosevelt was shot uh, during a speech and pulled a gun and just started pointing it into the crowd, <laughs> ready to shoot whoever just shot him. You know, it's funny, like a politician <laughs> waving a gun at the crowd, and all the papers at the time were like, "Strength incarnate." We all love our, we all all right. love our president you who waves that? guns at people. You say that. Let me ask you this: like, like the president has a look like, like people got their feathers ruffled when obama put on a gray suit like, like like the president has a look what would you contribute to the president's look or like like maybe like like his maybe air force one or like, like how the secret service look or operate or like brass like, like knuckles the, i would wear brass knuckles all the time <laughs> as the president that, <laughs> and that people think? that people and it would say u.s well Okay, I need to think of another one. <laughs> it's a U.S. Like, wait. U.S. Prez. Space a. Prez. Prez. P-R-E-Z. Yeah, I'd say Prez. Yeah. I would do all my speeches Prez like that. Prez and when I And when I, went to, when I went to foreign nations, I'd make them kiss my knuckle duster like that, like a, yeah. like a ring. And I would Donald, say, like, I Trump won't destroy your nation. Trump was one conversation you away from doing that. I guarantee He was one he conversation from a man if, like what me. What if that was your signature? What if, what if you had a ring that, that you dipped into ink? Or, or like, yes. hot wax, like, like Game of Thrones style. And that was how, like, law... And they call me the play. Punisher. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> the Punisher president. <laughs> I don't well, know about is, that. Is, it, is that because you would yourself elect to carry out capital punishments at the Lincoln Memorial? Yes! By beating yes. people to death. It's because I would solely, as president of this new dictatorship, I would I would take control of that. There's a pedophile on the public square. We're taking him right to Washington, D.C., right in the middle. I, and I demand that every single news station show it, even Nickelodeon. And they all show me pummel this pedophile to death, and everyone You're going to beat him to death with the with the. I'm going to beat him to death, except it's not going to. You know, we got to sell ad space, and so it's going to take a bit. It's going to be a, a, a probably a twelve minute beating, keeping him alive. Will there even then, be any auspice of like this is a fight to the death, or will he just be restrained? No, it'll just be President Taylor is delivering justice. That'll okay. be texted to everyone's phone. Oh, <laughs> I like push alert, and it will and it will have a force open link sent to you. Oh, an amber <laughs> alert! An amber alert! What? We need it. Like and if you try phone. to close, and if you close your eyes, terrorist watch list. Because oh, you are a we terrorist sympathizer. This is some Unless you eye tracking technology. I, think, I, I, like yeah, I like that. No, I, I like the knuckle duster idea, though. I it's do so like that. tight. You know what Imagine I like? I how like, cool they would look. I like on the shoulder pads if they have those ruffles. Those little, those little things that hang down. Oh, those little, I'd little love a little threads. roughage, a little bit of differentiation what, what call in that? the block that they are. You know the, like the gold, the gold tassels. That's what. Yeah, that's exactly it. I want the gold tassels on the uh, the shoulder pads. I think I it add, a bit, add a bit of gravitas, yeah. right? Like, you know like, what I want to have? I want to have across. I'm going to have. A, I'm going to have a mustache right. of gold tassels. A mustache, <laughs> but to yeah. mention it is a death sentence. See, that's a leader. Okay, <laughs> so that man's wearing yeah. wearing pantaloons. Like like that's how you know he's a real man. Yeah, and look at the sword. That's awesome. That guy's a NASCAR. I do like his sword. I love his sword. Do you think like he knows how to use there. it, or it's just do, do it's they just teach do they teach they do soldiers how to use the sword no, if they get they it ceremonially? Do, they do not.